I mean, this is about authentication, and you have like Palm. I don't know which one you are more interested in. But... This one's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, every, I'm interested in everything. <laughs> So are you familiar with 40 Authenticator? Yeah, I have, the, I have the 40 Authenticator for certification. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah. I mean... <clears throat> right, so I mean, those are like all the use cases you can cover with 40 yeah. Authenticator, right? It's about authenticating the user. Yeah. Uh, I mean, usually... It was for SSL VPN. So we see, the use case that we see is um, large clients in the UK for the token. So like stacking the tokens against the 40 authenticator exactly. rather than having it on exactly. several different yeah. gates. Having a yeah. centralized repository for all your users. Yes. So yeah. That, that's Number one. SSL VPN. Yeah. But more and more it's also for uh, uh, web-based applications. Okay. Yeah. Using SAML. Okay, I didn't know, yeah, you could do that, okay, and, uh, yeah. And the value, right, is that you are going to use the same token. Okay. The same users, and whether they use SAML or Reduce or whatever the use case is, yes. it's the same token. Okay, yeah, so, that's interesting, yeah, uh, that's interesting. And so token, I mean, right, we have more than, I guess you're using 40 token mobile. Yes, which it depends, is, a, bit, a bit of both, so yeah, the, the mobile, but the, in the UK, there's quite a lot of uh, a requirement for the hard, the, the physical tokens as well. So we do yeah. those as well. Yeah. yeah. So we have basically any token you can involve. do that. Yes. SMS, email. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so this is for the trust ID is to move this uh, to Fortinet Cloud, if you like. So. It's a single license. I don't know if you know about the SASE yes. and yeah. stuff, right? So one of the 40 trust licenses is identity. Okay. And that that is a 40 authenticator running in Fortinet Cloud. Okay. Yeah. Plus 40 token cloud for MFA. Okay. Well, that's it. Okay, so that's new. Yeah. And it's a single per user per year. Okay. License. That's to interesting. Make it, you know, a bit simpler, I yes. Guess. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. And also, we're moving to that kind of uh, subscription-based model. Yes. More and more, right? Yeah. So we're on the on some of the other products. Like we've been on the Flex VM program for a long time, so and that kind that, of thing. Similar uh, thing. Yeah. Exactly. So Flex VM is <coughs> like. A, so that's David or PM here. Yes. So uh, we have. Uh, we are in discussion of uh, having capability to do Flex VM with Fortran. Uh, yes. Yes. Which would be. I think would be good. Yeah. Too. Yeah. I we still need to discuss the details, how do you do it with the token? <laughs> I'm not so sure how, how we will do it, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, apart from that, it's uh, really it's a 40 authenticator yeah. VM running yes. in Fortinet Cloud that you don't have to manage. Yeah, yeah. We've done, um, so we, we've used the single sign-on mobility agent as well, well quite recently. That's yeah. Right, yes. So do you like it or yeah, it's yeah. working for us because the um, for larger deployments, dropping the agent on the domain control or things like that, we started to see for, for very large deployments, we started to see some issues. Yeah. So we're trying to use the the mobility agent now with 40 client, and it's been working quite well for us actually. And it yeah. Scales really well, right? Yes. Because it's all on the agent. Yeah. Uh, and we are actually enhancing that uh, mobility agent. So we are. Yes going to see more and more features. So now it works also not only on, when you join the on-prem AD domain, yes. it, it also works with Azure AD okay. domain join. That's interesting, yeah, yeah, okay. And it's the same mobility agent, okay. right? Um, except that, uh, so it, it also sends the Azure AD tenant yeah. along with the you know user Address. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So, yeah. So, I mean, it works whether you're cloud-based or on-prem. A feature that we're uh, launching. So it's not available yet, right? but uh, um, well, I mean, it may be a bit uh, deep uh, in the, in the technology, but, but it's okay. simply put. Uh, you use the SSO mobility agent. Yes. 
so that once you do your Windows domain login, yes, that will update the Forti Authenticator. Okay. And whenever you are trying to do a sample yep. authentication, so let's say you try to reach uh, Office yes. 365, right? So you redirect it to Forti Authenticator, yep. which is the SAML IDP central, yep. right? And Forti Authenticator will check uh, your, assuming you have ZTNA and Forti Client. Yes. Yeah, most do, yeah. And the yeah. uh, SSO Mobility Agent, right? It will check if it knows about that user, if it already has an FSSO okay. session, yeah. and it will create a SAML IDP session. Okay, now that's interesting. So yeah. it's like single sign-on across you know, Windows domain yes. and SAML uh, login. When, when's that going to release? Actually, it, it sort of works already. Soon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like um, I think May. Okay, uh, interesting. Yeah, it'd be good for us, that, I think. It's I a think. good uh, integration, I guess, fabric, mm. fabric story. Yes. That way. But yeah. I, I mean, it also simplifies the login experience. Yes, right? and, and that's what we want for users, really. You know, that's, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Uh, very good. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, so Forti Trust also uses Forti Token Cloud. Yeah. So a little bit, a little bit, yeah. I think it's it's a cool solution for service providers. Yeah. Um, because you can you know create multiple sub accounts. Yes. Right? So you have uh, like service provider that's having a single dashboard for everything. Yeah. But then you can provide access to different customers. Yeah. And they will only see their own accounts and yeah. their own logs, that kind of stuff. It's interesting. Which, yeah. Which is something we don't do that well with the front service. Yeah, so we've we we're on a journey at the minute where uh, historically we have hosted the infrastructure ourselves, so we've not really used Forty Cloud Analyzer, Forty Cloud Manager, because we've we've got the our own deployments and our own infrastructure that we've then you know we've then sold on to customers, but we're moving more towards Forty Cloud offerings now. If I'm being honest with you, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so, I guess it's, it's still the beginning. Yeah, yeah, because we don't have to manage the infrastructure then, really, which is works for us, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's always a trade-off. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna cost. It's a different pricing model, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. I sure. appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you.